I'll grab that for myself. It's a vase. Stick some daffodils in it. And then when I'm done with it, I can sell it. All right, well, we are here today in Middletown, Maryland, and we are sitting outside of the Goodwill. Uh, we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start over here today. It is something white metal. So that's like a pot metal. It's usually very soft. It bends and breaks easily. There is a little bit of art. Pottery. No, there's not a marking on the bottom. It looks like it may have had a sticker. I'm not sure. Creeping in the back. I don't really see much there of interest. Those are kind of cool looking. There's a ton of them. <laughs> Those would make for nice uh, centerpiece displays. stuff since last week. Okay, there's something interesting in the back. It's like a daisy and button pattern. It's $15. It's a pretty blue color though. I do like the daisy and button. And as long as there's no chips or cracks, I think that might clean up nicely. Um, I also like this. This is really cute. <laughs> I think it's contemporary. Um, probably made in China. I really like the little frogs all the way around it. $7.50 on that. We'll stick that in there as well. Um, and then this is cool. Four, four to nine. Hmm. I wonder what that is. It looks contemporary. There's not a whole lot of wear on the bottom. It is a drawer of some sort. I don't know. I kind of like it. I think that uh, I think that for that price, it's worth picking up. So I'm gonna stick that in my cart as well. Um, what is this? Whatever it is, it's interesting. It's marked on the bottom. It's a uh, studio pottery. Huh. I'm curious about it, so I think I'm gonna grab it for $2.50. Let's take that in there. Um, <laughs> kind of loading up today, aren't we? We just got here. We haven't even looked at the figurines yet. Uh, there's something hiding back there. I don't know if you guys see it. Let's pull that out. Uh, that is $14.99 fashion vase. So it's really not as great as I was hoping. We're gonna put that back. Then I'm gonna take a peek at this. Uh, it looks like maybe a souvenir thing. All right. Um, I'll probably circle back, but I think that's all I'm gonna grab from here for now. Right, let's circle around the corner. Right after we check these. No, not classy babies. There's some Fiesta, $2.49. I usually get about four bucks a piece for those in my booth, so um, I don't think it's really worth grabbing them. This is where they have all the shakers and the teapots and all the odds and ends. I found some pretty neat canisters over here in the past. I like this camel thing. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Uh, Five dollars and fifty cents. It is a planter, probably. I don't know. I'm just asking myself, do I really need another planter? Probably not. That's kind of adorable. With another fan with her chicks. I think I'll grab that. Stick it in there. Um, and then what is that? <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's supposed to have a lid. So for that reason, we're probably not going to grab it. But look at how beautiful and colorful that is. I mean, I am tempted. We have our um, daffodils in the yard blooming. And that would look so pretty with some daffodils. You guys know how much I love color. I might grab that for myself. It's a vase. 
stick some daffodils in it. And then when I'm done with it, I can sell it. Here's a pretty Italian uh, plate. I always have to be wary of these pieces though because they usually have the chips. And sure enough, this one is chipped up around the edges. And those are Coca-Cola. I thought it looked like an interesting design around the edges. That is interiors. Um, kind of like that pattern down there. Not enough to fish it out though. What is this? It's like a Holly Ross hand painted weeping gold. That's kind of pretty. I think uh, maybe it was intended as an ashtray originally. But it's a nice little trinket dish. I'll take that with me. Um, let's look down here. I love to dig down here. <laughs> This is a really nice hand painted, hand painted plate for five dollars and forty nine cents. I wonder if that one's dated. Sometimes these old pieces are dated. This one is not dated. A lot of the times, artists would sign and date them. Uh, this one, unfortunately, you can see there on the edge there is a chip. Uh, this is some neat looking art pottery whole set of it there. Um, this is recycled glass. Probably made in Spain. I do like the purple color of it. But I'm not really seeing much else here on these shelves, so um, I guess let's go check the figurines. I did just find this vanity tray. And I like that for $4.49. That would look nice on a vanity. Pretty blue. I guess today's the day of blue. <laughs> it's not quite matchy match with our other piece, but it is very similar. All right, the figurines shelf. I noticed that when I was walking in and thought that was really sweet. Oh, I, don't, I don't know about that though. And this, oh, you know what? This is the floral frog that goes in that planter. That may have just made it worthwhile <laughs> to have both pieces. I'm going to stick that in my cart and I might go back for that floral planter since there's actually a frog that goes with it. A neat old tile. Somebody covered it up though so we can't see the maker on it. It is kind of fun because it is a radish. Um, let's see. Some little angel candle holders. There's a Coco Pelly in the back. Kitty is really cute. And then you have these figurines in the back. I forget who the maker is. Oh, Isabel Bloom. There you go. It's right there. I really like this statue. She's missing her hand though, right here. She's a little more detailed than the other ones I come across. It's a shame the hand is missing. Hmm. <laughs> it's such a clean break. See what I mean? It's like almost like something was stuffed in there. Kind of crazy. She's really pretty. Is her hand on the shelf anywhere? <laughs> I really like her, but I don't think that I can do that. Not without a hand, that's kind of unforgivable. Um, here are some birds, 449. There's enough room there. Let's check this out. Those pastel colors, I always think maybe Mackenzie Childs, but that's not the case. Let's see if they fit together, shall we? There we go. So there you go. That's exciting. What is that thing? I don't know what that is. It's weird. Um, <laughs> it's a powder box. I was wondering if there'd be like a perfume or something to go with that vanity set, but 
Just being a little optimistic. Those are fun sunglasses. Laurel is going through a sunglasses phase. But she's very rough on them. <laughs> so, when I come to Goodwill, I'm like, maybe I should get her a backup. Just in case. Um, what do we have here? Oh, dolphins. Wooden dolphins. Oh, Bahamas. It's very uh, souvenir-y. You guys know that's not really my, uh, my thing. I don't really see much in the wood. So our last check is going to be the baggies. We have lots to look at in the bags. <laughs> napkin rings. Fancy servers. Silverware dolls, even. Looks like she's seen better days. Stamps. Crafts. What are these? Oh, drawer pulls. Giraffe drawer pulls. Those are kind of fun. I just sold all of my, um, <laughs> all of my uh, dragonfly drawer pulls the other day. Um, oh, there's a cat. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that bag, he almost jumped off. Um, I do like the cat in there, but I don't know if it's worth grabbing just for the cat. The cat has a really rough tail, so I think it's actually broken. For that reason, I'll leave it. Um, <laughs> lots to explore in the bags today. Lots of little bundles. Um, here's some more angels. Oh gosh, that little girl is so cute. I think she's left one. I've had her before. This one is pretty, uh, pretty broken. <laughs> here's some of those fun eagle things that balances on your fingers. But I think that might be it for me. See some candles over there. I need some candles for my outdoor candelabra. But they need to be thick ones, and I don't think those will work. So, all right, that might be it for us at this good bowl. I think we're going to move on to the next one. Quick cart review. I think I'm happy with everything I got. Didn't go too crazy. I'm kind of curious about this thing and what it is. What is that? It's just a decorative thing. It's just a colorful thing you sit on your shelf, maybe. All right, let's see uh, see what the total is, and uh, I'll get back to you in the car. All right. Well, I will put our total spend up here in the corner because I do not recall what it was. Um, but we found some cool stuff at the Middletown, Maryland Goodwill. I actually got to it earlier than I normally do. So, um, did that contribute to us finding more stuff? I don't know. I did end up leaving that blue glass compote behind. It was $15, and when I got to the checkout, um, I didn't notice a chip on the underside, and for $15, I just couldn't rationalize buying it with a chip. Um, so, it stayed behind. But anyway, I've moved on now. I am on the west, I'm at, I'm at the West Patrick Street Goodwill. And uh, we're gonna head in here, see what we can find. Buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. It's a shame that little giraffe has a broken antler. My goodness, this place is hopping today. That is a fun plate back there. Let's get a closer look at that thing. Oh, maybe it's a, is that a bowl? I don't know what that is. I do like the pattern on it. It is made in Poland. Is that the only one? It probably is, because that's usually my luck, all by itself. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Let's set that in there for a second. We're going to back up a little bit and check out this blue opaline glass. That is nice. Look at the edge on that. Oh, it's got a giant crack. That's a shame. Definitely has some age to it. Tell you what, I would love to find some more of that really fun Polish dinnerware. I mean, it's a very distinct pattern, though. I feel like if there was more on the shelf, I would be able to pick it out. Those are cute little shakers. Marked Athens, Texas. Praying hands. I like the look of that. It would have had a, um, a lid with a bird head on it, though. The bird head is missing. Looks like a carousel. Oh, it's a mug. I was thinking maybe it was a little jar. I was going 
grab it. There's a trinket box in the back. That is glory. Hand decorated Takahashi. Um, $2.49. It strikes me as being like 1980s. <laughs> we can make rabbit. I'll stick it in there for now. Um, I do want to look this up before we leave. Hopefully I remember. Sometimes I forget. That's so colorful. I really like that, 249. But then I'm like, I don't need that. Oh my gosh. What is this? <laughs> Was that just on the shelf? Polish pottery cat? You don't want that? It's a Polish pottery cat. Polish pottery cat? Yes. <laughs> I just said that to the show. I saw that one over there, but yeah. I didn't see that one. Well, you get first dibs. Your oh. husband found it. Those are really cute. Me in China. I love those. The clown's a little creepy. There's some glass. Glass swans. Got a little chip on the tail though. What are those? They're shiny. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. There are some bossins. They always seem to be broken when I find them. And then in the back, we have this guy. Um, I'm surprised that's not broken, to be honest. I don't know who makes that, but it's a nice horse head, uh, mid century in style. I'll grab that for $4.49. It's a nice butterfly. CMSMC Keller 2018. I do love butterflies. I found some really nice uh, plates down here before, but I'm not really seeing anything right now. Um, and then up here is this really cool set, but I did notice there's a, oh, well, there's, I guess there's a few giant chips on it, so. Probably not worth picking up, but I love that glaze. I kind of like, oh my gosh, knocking stuff over. You can't take me anywhere. Um, I kind of like the looks of this face back here. I don't know, though. It's kind of yellowed. Maybe not. It looks cool, and then it wasn't. Um, I did pick this up. Obviously, my sister gets first dibs. It looks very boho. I thought it was kind of neat. I'm not really sure what its purpose is, but it kind of like spins. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but... My sister gets first dibs on that. Um, I also grabbed a few other things right when I walked in um, that I do have to research. One of them was this. Um, it is Lennox Artist Sketchbook. So I'm gonna look that up. Um, it is $8.49. And I grabbed these. These are spaghetti bowls. So you can put your spaghetti in these. And I thought those were wonderful. So uh, I'm gonna check this shelf one more time and then we might do a few lookups and probably get out of here. So there's no price on these candles, but I feel like these might be the type of candles that I need. Actually, those might be a little too wide. Is that the same? No, eh, that's a little bit more narrow. <laughs> I think I should just grab a couple and see what works and what doesn't. Um, it's all outdoor stuff, so I don't really care if they're like special or not. That's why I'm like, whatever, let's grab some candles. All right, so I looked this up and it's kind of interesting because it's saying that it's actually um, France, but obviously the bottom said Poland. So I thought that was kind of curious. Um, I don't think it's worth picking up after seeing what it sells for or what people are asking for it. Um, just a single piece is probably not worth it. Um, but it is, it is a neat pattern. I think if I had more than one, it would probably be tempting. All right, well, I just had another shopper let me know that they actually bought um, the set of these the other day and they left uh, these two behind this one because it had damage. I appreciate the heads up. Um, this one looks to be in good condition and I'm fine with just getting one because I think it's so fun and it's just kind of a silly, silly inside joke. Um, so I'm still going to buy this one. Um, we're going to set this back on the shelf somewhere on the stacks of things and then I'm gonna just look this up real quick all right so I looked this up it actually comes in a set with little dishes um, I didn't see the dishes on the shelf so for that reason I'm probably gonna put this back um, the complete set people are asking like 20 bucks for it um, so for nine dollars I don't think it's worth it these are really cute for 4.49 they are souvenir 
Um, but I think I'll still grab them. Um, and then I was noticing this on the shelf as well. I thought that was kind of neat, but it's got a little chip on it right there. So for that reason, I think I'll leave it. Um, so here was a bottle I wanted to get a closer look at. Oh, it's got the Liberty Bell on it. There you go. I don't think there's much value there. I don't think it's old enough. Not that it has to be old to have value, but I just don't think it's very valuable. She's lost her head. There is a Williamsburg <laughs> restoration uh, that actually has a repair. I mean, it's not worth very much just regular, but with a repair, I'm assuming it's really not worth that much. This thing is wild. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, you know what? That might be a Capo de Monte. Is it? Um, I don't know. It's a very smudged marking, but it's really wild looking. All right. So our total spend here at the West Patrick Street Goodwill was $38.05. Um, I feel like our find of the day was undoubtedly the Polish Pottery Cat, which was not technically my find. <laughs> I did not find that. It was on the shelf in front of me, um, but I do owe that find um, to a viewer um, who stuck it who stuck it on the shelf in front of me because he knows that's what I look for. Um, he was there shopping with his wife and I did offer it to her. Um, I guess her style is more primitive. So um, they said, nope, it's yours. So I'm very excited about that. That is an awesome, an awesomely cool find here at the Goodwill. So if you're watching, Thank you very much. Um, I am moving on now. I am heading down the road to the next Goodwill. Um, but you guys are going to wait for that video. And uh, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. So long.